May 2022 MSTE definition of terms. Number 1. Signs used to guide drivers through a change in horizontal alignment of the road. Chevron sign. Number 2. A berth structure projecting out from the shoreline. Here. Number 3. What are the capacity requirement for all scaffoldings? At least four times its own weight. Number 4. Operating a motor vehicle on a street highway can be complex and demanding at times, but it can be boring at other times. These range of circumstances coupled with the range of driver capabilities presents a challenge to the highway designer. It is helpful to begin by considering the three essential elements such as navigation, guidance and control is referred to as driving task number five a formal or legally binding agreement between two parties is referred to as contract Number 6. It is an informal group discussion that focuses on a particular safety issue. These can be used daily to promote department safety culture as well as to facilitate health and safety discussions on job sites is known as Toolbox Meeting Number 7. A method of protecting employees from CA veins from material that could tall or roll from an excavation face or into an excavation or collapse of adjacent structures. This includes support systems, sloping and benching systems, shield systems and other systems that provide the necessary protection. Protective system Number 8. The bucket volume contained within the bucket when following the outline of the bucket sides is referred to as Plate line capacity Number 9. Signs that inform road users about the direction and distances of destinations on the route they are following or along other roads that intersect their route. guide signs number 10 it provides the detailed requirements for the detailed equipments and workmanship to be incorporated into the project specifications number 11 if you are preparing a report on pert cpm network in a construction job what scheduling should you consider in the preparation of the PERT CPM diagram? I. Pessimistic time. 2. Optimistic time. 3. Probable time. All of the above. Number 12. This drawing has elevation age its vertical axis and horizontal distance as measured along the center line of the facility, or rather reference line, as its horizontal axis. Profile Number 13. It is a measure of a material's ability to dissipate or deaden mechanical vibrations. Damping capacity 
Number 14. Because concrete is unable to maintain a particular shape before it sets, it must be placed in a form or mold. In building construction, this is called form works. Number 15. It occurs after the completion of construction and their solution of the majority of punch list and commissioning issues. Turnover Number 16. A method of protecting workers from cave-ins by excavating the sides of an excavation for monasteries of horizontal level or steps, usually with a vertical or near-vertical surfaces between levels. Benching Number 17. The basic lane width appropriate for national road. 3.35 meters. Number 18. Delineation of the road alignment needs to be considered as part of the design process to ensure that adequate guidance is provided to road users. Delineation is generally provided by the use of the following devices. I. Pavement markings. 2. Signs. 3. Guideposts. IV. Reflective delineators. B. Lighting. By. Cursor other physical devices. All of the above. 19. The safe capacity of piles driven by powered hammers is based on the following data. I. Average penetration per blow, last six blows. 2. Energy of hammer. 3. Weight of hammer. IV. Weight of pile including appurtenances. V. Coefficient of restitution depending on the weight of pile. All of the above. Number 20. What are some of the important properties of queuing diagrams? I. The slope of DT is the departure rate, the slope of AT is the arrival rate. 2. The departure rate cannot exceed the service rate or capacity of the server. It may be less. 3. Cumulative departures can never exceed cumulative arrivals DT, can never be above AT in the queuing diagram. IV. When a queue is present, the departure rate will equal the service rate. When no queue is present, the departure rate will equal the arrival rate the queue first forms when the arrival rate first exceeds the service rate. B. All of the above. All of the above. God bless future engineers.